you have skinny, weak legs? Do you wear pants in the middle of summer? Do you do chest and biceps every single workout because you don't know what else to do? I'm Scott Viella of Viella Training, and this video brought to you by Set for Set is gonna show you how to build strong, powerful legs using only one dumbbell. For today's lower body dumbbell workout, I have five different exercises for you. So the first one is gonna be a goblet squat. So for the goblet squat, we are gonna do 10 reps. And we're gonna pair that with a staggered stance deadlift. So for the staggered stance deadlift, we are gonna do 10 reps on each side. We're gonna do this superset for four sets. Then we are gonna move on to a second superset and we're gonna do a reverse lunge. So for the reverse lunge, we are gonna do 10 reps on each side. We're gonna pair our reverse lunge with an RDL. So the RDL, we're gonna do for 10 reps. So this superset, we are gonna do for four sets. Then we are gonna move on to our fifth and final exercise, which will be a lateral lunge. And for the lateral lunge, we are gonna do it 10 reps on each side. And to keep things nice and simple, we're gonna do that for four sets. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this very well-rounded lower body workout using only one dumbbell. Number one, goblet squat. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna grab the dumbbell. So I'm gonna grab underneath the top of the dumbbell with my hands. So I am here holding the dumbbell. I'm gonna bring my elbows in so my forearms are crushing the bottom part of the dumbbell. So I'm already in my squat stance. So for me, that is feet about shoulder width apart and toes slightly pronated out. So when I bring my elbows in, I'm gonna crush that dumbbell. That's gonna help activate my lats. So I'm bracing my core, I'm gonna come down, heavy in my heels, breath in, drive through those heels, big exhale. Come down nice and controlled, tension on that upper body so that lower body can do the work. Breath in, big exhale. Really make sure those feet are rooted, breath in all the way down, sit those hips back, drive through those heels, nice and tall. Number two, staggered stance deadlift. So I'm gonna grab the dumbbell in my right hand. My left foot is gonna be planted. My toes are facing forward. My right foot is gonna step back. I'm about shoulder width apart here. I'm on the ball of the foot on my right foot. My shoulder blades set back. My lats are engaged. My core is braced. So we're really gonna focus on that hinge pattern here. We're gonna get just a soft bend in that lead leg and we're gonna shoot the hips back. So shoulders are square, hips are square. I'm shooting my hips back, back, back. Feel that overload on the hamstrings, on the glutes. Coming down, drive the hips forward, squeeze the glutes to the top. Shoot the hips back, hips back, hips back, hips back. Driving up, squeeze those glutes to the top. Bracing on that core, shoot the hips back. Drive the hips forward, squeeze it to the top. Number three, reverse lunge. So again, my right hand is gonna grab the dumbbell, left leg, that foot is rooted, toes are facing forward. I'm gonna take a little bit bigger of a step back with my right foot, again, on the ball of the foot. I'm gonna just get a slight hinge forward. That's gonna help me overload and get a little bit extra work on those glutes. So I'm here, my lats are engaged, my core is braced. I'm coming down nice and controlled, taking a big breath in, 
big exhale as I'm driving up. Upper body is engaged, that lower body can work. Breath in. Really making sure that toe is forward, pushing for my heel as I'm driving up. Breath in, driving up. Really feeling the quads, feeling the glutes. Breath in, big exhale. Making sure the shoulders stay square. Exercise number four, RDL. So I'm gonna grab the dumbbell underneath the top. My feet are about shoulder width apart. Little bend in the knees, and I'm really focusing on shooting my hips back. So up here, I'm gonna shoot my hips back, coming down slow, controlled, hovering right over the ground, drive my hips forward, squeeze my glutes at the top. So really make sure that my shoulders aren't going Below my hips, we're getting any round in the shoulders. We want to keep that back flat. Lats engaged, shoulder blades back the whole time. So here, driving up, squeeze, hips back, push those hips back. Feel that tension, time under tension. Squeeze the glutes to the top. Brace down that core, full body tension. Hamstrings, glutes, hamstrings, glutes. Drive those hips forward, squeezing at the top. All right, our fifth and final exercise is the lateral lunge. I find this one, for myself, the most challenging. So I'm gonna grab that dumbbell. I'm bringing it up into that goblet squat position. So again, bring those forearms in, crushing that dumbbell. So I'm here, I'm gonna step out to my right. So I'm gonna take a big step out, make sure my foot is planted. I'm gonna push my hips back as I'm lunging to the side. Push off my right foot, back to the center. Big step out, plant that foot, push those hips back. As we're lunging to the side, find that range of motion, push off of that heel. Big step out, brace down my core, push, 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 solid base, drive it up to the center. Workout of the day. Now that was one intense and effective lower body workout using only one dumbbell. So today's workout was five very challenging exercises using only one dumbbell. So the very first exercise was our goblet squat, which we did for 10 reps. And we paired that goblet squat with a staggered stance deadlift. So the staggered stance deadlift we did for 10 reps on each side. And we did these two exercises for four sets. Then we moved over to our second superset and we did reverse lunges. So the reverse lunges, we did 10 reps on each side and we paired that with the RDL. So the RDL, we really overloaded those hamstrings and we did that for 10 reps. Again, we did those two exercises for four sets. Then our fifth and final exercise was the lateral lunge. So for the lateral lunge, we did 10 reps on each side, once again, for four sets. So this workout here is guaranteed to help you get over that hump, let you build the strong, powerful legs that you desire using only one dumbbell. So this workout is brought to you by Set for Set, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and smash that like button so we can continue to create more content just like this one. If you'd like more information, please check the description below as well as a set for set 
website. Again, I am Scott Viella of Viella Training. Until next time.